Hey, what's going on everyone? I am Solo69 and welcome to my channel. I am here for a special Friday the 13th, 2021 reading for the month of August. Um, I thought I'd just do something random for the day and see what comes out to, you know, something interesting or not, you know. So anyway... This reading may not resonate for everyone. This is just simply a Friday the 13th reading. So anything goes at this moment. This is um, new to me as well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and check into it and see what's popping off. Um, just enjoy the entertainment of it all. Like, subscribe, and share. And let's get into it. So for Friday the 13th, the energy that's flowing around today for the collective... Now, um, as far as it being a collective, this can be one or two people. This could be one or two thousand people. This could be one or two hundred people. This could be a piece of a person. Who knows? So, you know, we're just going to get into it and see. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and understanding. This special Friday the 13th reading. Please show me what message do you have for the collective for Friday the 13th, August 2021. Or should I say August, Friday the 13th, <laughs> whatever. Just what message do you have for the collective for today? What energy is coming out? Okay, some of you may need are dealing with a situation about releasing some things. Um, these are things that could be stuck in your mind, you know, things that you have, you know, been just, you know, going in circles in your thoughts about. Some of you could be a Pisces or you could be dealing with a Pisces. But th these are things that um, are coming about to be released um, right now. This is the growing stages of the moon. So... It's going to be a little hard to um, let these things go, but um, I'm seeing that, you know, just take out the time to yourself and, you know, give yourself that moment alone to be able to, you know, channel whatever this energy is and be able to confront it. You know, like face to face with this negative energy to release it, you know, and I'm not saying like if it's a person, go step to them and say like, hey, I, I don't fuck with you. You know, you ain't got to do all of that. But I'm just saying that like, you know, if it's, you know, it's, it's time to probably sit back and confront whatever this is that's, that's, that's causing the problem or the issue or whatever this is that just needs to be let go of. I'm not sure if this is negative or positive, whatever it is, but it is something that can be trapped in your mind that you could be having a hard time trying to release and, you know, dealing with the cycles of the moon that can play a part as well in why it could be kind of hard to release because right now you're in the growing stages of the moon. Um, but at the same time, this is something that needs to be let go of. So, Let's go ahead and um, get a little deeper into it. This may be something that needs to be spoken or said that someone has been um, having a hard time saying. Um, you know, it could be anything, but um, it is based around emotions, you know. Thank you for your wisdom. Your guidance and understanding. This is a Friday the 13th reading for the collective. Let's see. When it comes to this meditation and contemplation in reverse. Let's see what this is pertaining to. Some of you could be um, in your Lilith energy right now. You know, that could play a part in this. Might need to check with your chart and where your Lilith is in your chart.
whatever this is that's stuck it definitely has something to do with maybe something that needs to be spoken or said here yeah definitely this is something that needs to be communicated or expressed um you know something that you may need to release something that you may need to say that you've been stuck in your mind about um definitely some type of energy that i'm seeing come in here that needs to be advertised or displayed someone definitely um, has a strong soul or spirit here um, and has a, a, a you know clear way of seeing things with emotion but they could be dealing with certain things on the inside um, that could you know have something to do with why their wisdom is not being um, seen um, okay let me go ahead and get the rest of these out so I can just see what's popping off here hell of a message Ooh, why is she here there could definitely be some deception in here but there is a, a major change of enlightenment that's coming along for some of you um, now, this is, um, from what I'm seeing so far, something that, something needs to be spoken out loud. Somebody needs to, um, there's something that's being, um, trapped within that needs to be pushed out from the soul. Um, this is something like from the core, you know what I mean? Um, um, this is something that's going to be abstracted out through, um, emotions and feelings. But, you know, some of you could have a hard time getting this out because you're dealing with certain, you know, um, distrust within yourself or certain things that you may feel about yourself, uh, you know, uh, and, and frustration. Um, like an inner bully type energy here. And, and that could actually, um, you know, that be battling with, with this energy of your wisdom, this maturity that you have um, of, you know, of sound judgment. Um, now later on in the future, you know, you could be dealing with certain things that could be coming along to you. Some of, some of you may smell certain things that could be symbolic to you. Um, but something could be coming to along to you in the future that may pertain to some type of spell work or, you know, some type of some, yeah, somebody trying to to get um, influence here. But this is like behind, like I said, there's someone that actually is here that's, that's, that's trying to chop the fucking, you know, find your weakness to cut you off, to have you lose whatever strength that this is that you're gaining here. Um, and a lot of this is because of, um, you know, somebody may feel like they are being slapped of, you know because of seeing your success or whatever this is like I say this is an energy of someone being able to um, to be a success uh, amused to a situation and display this energy through the soul <coughs> through the core here and it pertains to feelings and you know sound wisdom and sound judgment but there could be something that could be fighting against you this inner bully energy that, that someone could have put on you to make you feel I do feel like someone could have put something on you and, and I, I'm not saying it like you know everyone doesn't know about spell work to sit there and mix and mingle up shit and you know herbs and stuff like that and witchcraft and all of that um but i'm just saying like this negative energy speaking negative um plotting against you trying to find ways to um block you or barricade you in to stop you from this and put you in your emotions where your emotions run so high that you don't focus properly um, I do see that this um, you you have some type of ultimate influence or power here over a situation here and you know somebody could definitely feel slapped in the face because of this and they want to um, deceive you by trying to get close to you just to steal your weaknesses or find your weakness to cut it off it's kind of it makes me think of Samson and Delilah you know um, 
in that story of Samson and Delilah, he, you know, she was, Delilah was sent to Samson to find his weakness, to cut off his strength, you know, you, you know, find his strength so they can cut it off, you know, you know, and, but they had, she had to get under him. She had to get close to him and she called him asleep and realized that his strength was in his hair. So she chopped his fucking hair off. You know, so it's like somebody is it knows that you have a certain type of influence or power. And this is a heavy blow to the head to this person. And, you know, they they really want to get close to you to take you down. But this is like there is some type of fire here. It could be a fire sign. It's a water sign here as well. Um but there's some type of fire here, some type of burning or combustion here, some type, you know, or somebody could have fired off on a situation or dismissed a situation, you know. Um, but yeah, and, and but, you know, someone didn't realize that maybe, you know, there was a healing here. You know, this someone has a natural healing aspect to them. I don't know what this really means but it's part it's part of their power it's part of their influence it's it's the way that they channel their energy um it's like you know being told that we have all the the elements of the crystals in us and if we could channel those elements within us we can make things happen you know it's just like the power of using a crystal you know so in ch in channel you know ch you know war warming up and channeling it I can't get my words out but channeling those elements here and you know something something may not have been known and so this may cause some cause some type of grievance or um, sadness um, to someone later because they may have thought they did something but it didn't work I don't know. Um, like I say, there's something that needs to, this is about communication and someone expressing themselves. And it's also about your personal truth to a situation. And this is enlightenment that's, that's, that's coming through here, you know. So, yeah. Um, let's see what else we can get. But thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and understanding. We're going to get down to the punches in a second. Someone is, you know, definitely um, looking at a situation like sky is the limit. And they are definitely ruling energy here. Someone could be an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius or dealing with one. But this person definitely feels, you know, is in a position of command and control here and especially dealing with change some of you may be dealing with the um you, you, the planet uranus or this could have some type of um signification in your chart at this moment especially when it comes down to you following or walking in your north node energy and going against the grain doing the things that you fear the most you know just saying fuck it you know <laughs> um Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Please show me more about this energy. It's coming out for the collective for this Friday the 13th reading here. Okay, so some of you are definitely growing and expanding um, a lot here. Some of you need to drink some water. A lot of water. Water could actually be a potent protection for you right now, especially when it comes down to the things that you're working on or doing or whatever it is. Some of you, to help clear your throat, maybe, you just need to drink water. I'm seeing a lot of water here. Yeah, a whole lot of water. So um, yeah, someone could actually be feeling like um, they're, um, you know, a, 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 oh, like a, like a, Someone could be feeling like they're kind of, you know, because of what they've done, they look, they're, they're put on the back burner um, with feeling someone doesn't feel the way that they should feel. I don't know. This is someone who could have um, not wanted to 
claim a situation for what it really was instead they wanted to stay on the outskirts of the situation it's almost like um it, it's it's a part of them but not a part of me um so now they're feeling left out here yeah this is actually somebody who betrayed someone who was wise or betrayed betrayed wisdom um things that was coming towards them that was in wisdom they they, they were so far away in little small-minded to this situation that they actually betrayed it you know um and it was good to them this wisdom this knowledge or whatever this was this was a promise that was came that was made to them and actually for the future for their future and it was how they treated it so you know now they feel like um oof, i don't know why they feel like time is on their side to this situation but okay so now let's talk more about it because I really don't know where this is going. Sometimes it seems scattered to me because I'm just the messenger. <laughs> but and, and when I'm getting the message, I'm really, sometimes I'm just that third wheel speaking, you know, the message. And it's not really registering to me at that time because it's like i'm just channeling that energy but um when i go back and listen to what i've said that's when things start i'm like okay hmm. but you know in the mix of it sometimes it just feels like a bunch of words a bunch of gibberish to me so yeah but anyway let's go ahead and get this um, final message out before I do the actual tarot to this. So, uh oh, trying to. Shuffle. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and your understanding. You know, some of you are someone. Cause I feel like this is another person, like it's a villain here. Feels like it makes me think of Tupac on Juice. Um, like a little bit over egotistic with this gun blaze and this fire firing off energy here. Um, but. And they could be really cold-hearted and two-faced as well. Um, but they really give me this energy like they are. But, you know, running things. And here's Bill Gates' energy, you know. But if, you, if you've if been keeping up with Bill Gates, there's some shit going on, too. It's also some things going on with Bill Gates doing things in secret. It's not really my business, but it's all over the news and shit, so that part. But um, it's something about um, dealing with trafficking as well. So uh, there could be some issues with someone feeling like they are getting away with some devastating shit, whether it's trafficking, you know, I don't know if it's you know it's human trafficking yeah but i don't know what type of human that's i haven't dug into none of that but with bill gates showing up here this is that energy and with somebody being you know being one way presenting themselves one way because like a stepfather energy in some cases you got some really good stepfathers you know and our stepmothers but sometimes you got those who pretend to be just for the public eye or you know you know outside of the house and when they're in the home they treat the child very different you know 
and that's the energy that I'm pulling here. Like someone's doing something in the, you know, in the darkness that they're not showing to the light. So they got people thinking something else and this is going unseen. Um, here. Uh -huh. <laughs> so go ahead and show me some more energy, please, about this message. Friday the, th the 13th message please take out the time to like subscribe and share somebody um, could actually be feeling like they're slick, yeah, about a situation like slick as a can of oil. <laughs> Someone feels like they're getting away with something. They fumbled. Mm. They fumbled, enjoying, you know, it's kind of like somebody being so caught up in the moment because Pink Pony, <laughs> Pink Pony popped out. And if you know anything about Memphis and Pink Pony, <laughs> you know that. You know, it's, it's, it, I, I can't tell you what to think, but it's not my spot, you know. And somebody could have definitely been stuck in a situation that they were warned about and they overlooked the warning with this beware being in reverse. You know, somebody definitely overlooked the warning and they, they felt like they had <laughs> the willpower to move forward to a situation here. And so somebody definitely could have gotten drunk or, you know, did something that takes a call out of being um, inebriated, you know, and swinging. Somebody could have got into a position where they slept with someone else's um, person or a couple, you know, just slept outside the box. And this became some type of tug of war, a, a battle back and forth, you know, in, in a roller coaster ride. You know, and, and it's now somebody's geeked and fired the fuck up, you know, to, to a perfection of a situation. And definitely, like I say, this villain energy is here and somebody's um, not somebody's trying to wipe someone out, but they, they're having a hard time doing it because they need money. <laughs> Yeah, they're stuck. Definitely stuck. You know, some, they, they, they are. They were trying to make someone else. Look, they were trying to make someone else stuck. You know, they were trying to make someone else stuck. And, you know, this is, you know, by by wishing negative things, this 13th ghost energy, that's that energy of trying to collect, you know, collect certain spirits, um, trying to collect, you know, certain things and wishing twinkle, twinkle, little star pops up right after and somebody got pushed, you know, and, and, and it's like, don't fuck with them because whoever, you know, whoever this is, is from the fucking streets. And, and it's like the police could be involved to this situation to bond, bound somebody and have them stuck in some type of secret situation, secret life, secret something here. But anyway, let's get back to it. Somebody fumbled because they were caught up in, in, the, in the moment with this pink pony energy here. And it being in the moment, that's like definitely fumbling. You, you know, that's like being at the club, the strip club, because the pink pony is the strip club in Memphis. And to be dealing with that, somebody could have went to the strip club in Memphis and they could have fucked up or that's where shit all hit the fan and that's where shit went wrong <laughs> you know but really um I'm, I'm catching this energy of somebody like you know in the strip club some people can get caught up in there so much to where you walk out of there broke you don't have no more money you mad too some of them go in there pretending like they got money and they don't you know it's just different aspects of looking at it but somebody fumbled while they were enjoying the moment, while they were, uh, you know, watching something, you know, dealing with dancers, dealing with um, exotic energy. <clears throat> it's exotic energy here. And seeing that swinger energy come out as well, that was exotic energy because you're dealing with somebody else's husband or somebody else's wife. And a lot of times when it's swinger energy, the other person knows that this is what's happening. But then there was some type of tug of war. There was some type of battle or fight here that came about 
and hell it's could have it's some secrets also that looks like they're finna get ready to come crashing down maybe um to this situation here and someone is trying to stop someone by doing some type of spell work as well there is a lying and cheating as Judas that's here. We're going to keep that in mind. There is Judas right there. And this is somebody who could be at a distance from you. Pluto, you know, I don't know why, you know, I, I feel like when I see Pluto over Judas, you know, it makes me feel like somebody's very small to a situation. And not only that, but they're at a distance because Pluto is pretty far away. You know, so it, it just makes me see that. But whatever energy Pluto also brings in, I think it's some type of spiritual enlightenment as well to, you know, kind of light up who this Judas really is. This is somebody who could definitely be um, very toxic energy, Capricorn, Gemini energy. Yeah, um, somebody who's um, dealing with endings maybe going on in their life as well. So let's see. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance and understanding. Let's go ahead and see what Tarot has to say about this reading for Friday the 13th. Please show me the message, a storyline. I hear, I got it. I got it. Don't even worry about it. It's cool. And it is. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. There is celebration here, but it's, it's to the naked eye. You know, some people may be looking at some lustful things. Like I say, there was swinging <laughs> and other shit. So, you know, naked women. There's the naked women. Keep in mind the fumbling the pink pony, you know, somebody could have, you know, did, you know, anyway, and, you know, their hard-earned money could have found peace for a minute, but the cycle went over for the celebration, and when it's back time for the commitment, there's nothing to be done, because, shit, it's, it was fed to the wolves, it was fed to the women who was making their money, doing it on their own. Somebody went to the strip club and spent all their money, you know, and, and if you didn't, if it wasn't the strip club, it was something that was a vice that wasn't meant for you to be doing, you fumbled and fucked up, you know what I mean? Somebody stepped outside the box and did too much. And now they're finna pay the consequences for that. Whatever it is, you did too much. And you could have hurt someone who was working hard, hardworking queen, uh, whether it is a male or a female, someone who was putting in the hard earned work. Tell me more about, okay, this queen of pentacles. Okay, so somebody could definitely be trying to put out somebody else's flame and have them stuck in the cold. They want someone to drop their burdens. They definitely want conflict, you know, and confusion as well. Okay, yeah, when it comes down to what this person is doing to celebrate or, you know, somebody, you know, realizes that their celebrations or whatever it is that they was doing too much, kicking it about or of or in or at or whatever, you know, now it's overwhelmed. And um, tell me more. I'm, I'm just hearing, but it's it's cool. It's all right. Like, I'm good. Like, it's almost like somebody's looking up, the, like, this king. Like, it's a king here. It's a Leo king here that's looking up at this queen. You see, he's looking up. She's looking down. He's looking up. He has a flame and a torch. She has the pentacle and the coin, you know, the coin. She She's holding the coin in her hand because she's been working on that coin. And what I'm seeing here is that somebody definitely is, you know, really trying to stop this from. Um, if I want to spit some facts about this situation, man, it really just seems like, you know, 
it really just seems like somebody's trying to end you know put fl put a flame to somebody's stuff you know like you see you see it's like she's she's here happy she's here happy holding her coin looking at it looking well deserved looking well you know like appreciative you know working on her shit here he come underneath her looking like okay what well, in his face he doesn't look happy he looks disturbed you know and this king looks disturbed up at this queen and then it's like he wants to set flame to her fucking shit and cause her shit to come tumbling down and then she's left after this come tumbles down she's looking at her hand now and you see what's her hand is empty her hand has been cut you see the difference she's out in the cold now you know she's stuck in the rain out this person wants this to happen to this queen Look at that energy's coming coming all through. Let's see. Why? Why is it that, you know, because it was a fumble. It didn't work. You know, and it's really kind of sad. But because God had a promise. God's promise is God's promise. Nobody can take God's prom promise. Um, anyway. Why, why is this king, why is this king, it, it plays a part definitely. Look at this, this ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Man, come on, man. Why is this king doing this? Because something that's off the table. Hold on. Why does king want this queen to be hurt like this? Wants her sad. Wants her crying. Don't like her being happy. I don't get it. I mean, you could be a grand water trine. They want to offer something empty. They, they, you know, they they feel a certain way. <sighs> but I feel like they damn they don't even know what they feel. Because they, they just want her sad. They just want to offer. There ain't no real reason for this shit. We got the four of cups at the bottom, you know, that, that jumped off the table. This is no long, this is not going to happen, but this is what this king wanted. He wanted her to be sad. He just wanted to offer fucking sadness. And it just it's grounded in that energy and in, in deception, deceiving itself. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Somebody just likes that cycle to keep going. And they really don't have a fucking reason other than just sadness, misery. Loss. Loss. That's some bullshit. <laughs> so, okay. So, what's next then? What's going to happen with this situation since it was a fumble? Because uh, the fumble... So the fumble is, okay, somebody wanted to have a new beginning with someone else like this. Somebody thought that it was going to break. Look, because look, I'm, I ain't got a lot to kick it because this is what fell off the table. You know, somebody wanted somebody to have a new beginning that was not going to happen anyway. You know, like somebody wanted to try to plant another seed of fucking commitment. Boom. But it's not going to happen. You know, it's not going to happen. There's something new that's here for this person. And they're already got enough to be, you know, to juggle with here. So it's like, why? Why do you want to, end? you know, st stop a new beginning? Why do you? Because you want to be a part of a new beginning with this person that's just not meant for you. Or you're not meant to be a part of this cycle. But you're still trying to find a way to continue the same patterns to do the same type of stuff. Because you want to remain a part of this person's cycle. It's like you're nothing without this person. I, I feel like I'm talking to someone who's, who's fumbling. Whoever's doing the fucking fumbling is the person that, like, don't know how to let someone something go when someone else is in this energy in uranus energy they're they're open for new things the sky and the heavens is, you know is the limits for them they're they have you know they're crammed with change and whoever's doing this is does not apparently you're repeating the cycle so much 
that is clear that you don't know how to change and you're not ready for change because you're still trying to keep someone in a loop that's not getting any fucking where. Let's get a little bit of clarification and I'm not even going to clarify the cards by themselves separately. I'm just going to clarify the reading. (laughs) Period. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. And I never cut these cards. Clarify this reading for the collective. You're someone's muse and and they don't know how to treat their fucking muse. So, but they see you as this muse, but they can't stand you. They don't know how to not be a Judas to you. You need to drink plenty of water. Someone wants to, they don't want you doing things on your own. They feel like they are supposed to do it. They want you to be a charity case. Straight up. Hold on. This flip. And to stay in a mental prison. Lord. (laughs) Cornered. They want you to stay cornered. They don't like you being released. This is someone who actually is, um, working pretty strategic about a situation this you know we got the king of of i mean the queen i I said king so this could be a king but we got the queen of pentacles you know coming back but this is the energy someone wants her really in reverse someone wants her um to appreciate them more they don't want you to lead they don't (laughs) Yo, in reverse, she's not a leader. She's a leader upright. You feel me? She, she, she's not a leader in reverse. Somebody doesn't want them, they want you to be a charity case, not a leader. What are you doing? (laughs) You're not supposed to lead. You're supposed to financially need me. You're not supposed to get it on your own. You're supposed to beg from me. I'm supposed to be able to help you when I want to. Not when I need to. Not when you need me, but when I want to help you. I want, I like to feel you beg. Somebody, mm, I don't know. Thank God. Anyway, somebody's definitely recovering from that energy. Somebody, somebody's coming up out of that energy. You know, and that's what's up. You know, this mental jail that somebody wanted somebody to remain in. Somebody is being released out of that energy because they were cornered. They took a time out, recuperated, and now they're getting the fuck on. You know what I mean? You can stay in your pink pony. (laughs) Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this good old Friday, the 13th reading, y'all. And um, I hope that any, something may have resonated or if you just enjoyed the entertainment of it all, that's cool with me as well. Like, subscribe, and share, and deuces. <laughs>